G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to divide into a given ratio. It's a pretty simple thing to do, but I've found it's something that a lot of people get stuck on in math. So uh, let's launch into this. So I'm just going to go with an example. Say, for example, we had $100,000 that it was some winnings from a lottery or something like this, and it was going to be broken up into a ratio of 3 is to 7. So pretty much what we're saying here is one person's getting three parts and the other person's getting seven parts. So the way I think about this with this is I think, okay, how many parts in total are there? And once you can think of like that, it's pretty simple. So how many parts in total do we have? And you go, okay, three plus seven, we have a total of 10 parts. Okay, so all right. What we're going to do is we're going to now get our $100,000 and we are going to divide it by 10 and see what each part is worth. Okay, so $100,000 divided by 10, the answer to that is $10,000. But our answer isn't done yet. We've got to divide it up into that given ratio. So one person is getting three parts. So each part is worth 10,000, three times 10,000. So one person is getting $30,000. Another person is going to be getting the seven parts. Seven times 10,000 is $70,000. That's the second part of our answer. That's what this person's getting. So pretty simple, right? What about we do a few more? So for our second example, we're going to have a look at concrete. We're going to make it a nice concrete example. Okay, that is an awful joke, isn't it? But we're going to look at concrete. Now concrete is made up of three different parts. It has one bit of it, which is cement. Okay, the bit that binds it together. Uh, we have two parts, sand. Okay, so for every bit of cement, we need to put in two parts sand, and we need to put in four parts of stone. And that's how you make concrete. So let's answer a few questions about this. So the first thing I'm going to ask is how much sand do we need for seven metres cubed of concrete? So the way that we'd work this out is as follows. We have one part cement, two parts sand, four parts stone. And this ratio of one is to two is to four. So altogether, what we have is we have seven parts. This is seven in total. So if we're going to make seven metres of concrete, seven metres cubed divided by seven parts, well, each part is going to be one metre cubed. So we're going to be using one metre cubed of cement. We're going to be using two metres cubed of sand and three metres cubed of stone. Another thing we could ask is how much cement do we need to make three and a half cubic metres of concrete? We're going to be using that same ratio here. So how much cement are we going to need? So if we get this 3.5, 3.5 metres cubed, and we are going to divide it into our seven parts. And if we do that, we're going to see that each part, 3.5 divided by seven, equals 0 0.5 metres cubed. Okay, so how much cement are we going to need? We need one part here, so we're going to use, each part is 0 0.5, we're going to be using 0 0.5 metres cubed. We could work out the sand as well. We're going to use two parts. We're going to use two lots of half a metre, so a metre cubed. For the stone, we're going to be using four parts. Four times 0 0.5 is two metres cubed. And you can see this adds up to three and a half metres of concrete that we're making. So for our final example, we have this question here. The size of three angles in a triangle have a ratio of one is to two is to three. How big is each angle? So I guess the first thing you need to know is how many degrees in a triangle, which is 180 degrees. All right, so how are we gonna solve this now? Well, pretty simple. How many parts in total are we sharing out? And as you can see, we have one plus two plus three, we have six parts. So. What we would do here is we're going to go 180 degrees divided by six, and this will tell us how big each part is. Each part, 180 divided by six, is 30 degrees. So in our triangle, we have three angles, one getting one part, the second one getting two parts, the third one getting three parts. How big is each one? So if you're getting one part, you're gonna be 30 degrees. If you're getting two parts, you're gonna get two times 30, which is 60 degrees. And our third angle is going to get 3 times 30, which is 90 degrees. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. We'll see you next time.